This is the RTX 5070 Ti Prime Edition from ASUS and one of the few cards that can be had at MSRP as of the time of this filming in August 2025. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to overclock your GPU and explain why you should overclock your GPU while showing you the performance difference from overclocking your GPU. So thanks again to ASUS for sending me this GPU and sponsoring today's video. So, basically the biggest thing I want to touch on is it is incredibly safe to overclock your GPU. You can only go so far in the stock BIOS and all you have to do is move a few sliders in MSI Afterburner. There is 0% chance you will damage your GPU. Basically like 99.99999% chance, but basically 0% chance you will damage it. It is safe to overclock, I swear. <laughs> Famous last words. But why should you overclock? Well, it's basically like getting a 10%-ish performance jump for free. So you are essentially turning your 5070 Ti into a 5070 Ti Super. Can't believe Nvidia used that naming nomenclature last generation. But anyway, there is zero reason not to do it. The only negative you could possibly say is you may lose some stability depending on how far you push your overclock, but I feel like that is a small price to pay. And frankly, if you're not happy with even a small bit of crashing, you can just lower your overclocks down, get a little bit less percentage, and basically reduce your chances of crashing to zero. So without further ado, let's get into today's video. I'm going to first start out with showing you the performance increase by overclocking and then I'm going to show you my settings, how I got there, and give you some tips and tricks to overclock. So without further ado, let's get to it. Okay, so first I want to do a quick disclaimer. This is MSI Afterburner, and my GPU is not your GPU. All graphics cards are basically silicon lottery, and you might not be able to get the overclock settings that I get. And if you use my numbers and my method, and it's not stable, then you're basically just going to want to take the core down until it's stable. So that's the rule of thumb. You uh, find the settings that you know or work for somebody else, and then you just lower the core down till it's stable, at least for the 50 series overclocks. I personally don't like to slowly, slowly increase as that takes a lot of time. And, uh, you know, I don't really want to, I'm not like an overclocking enthusiast. I just want to get the easy 10 to 12 ish percent extra performance that you saw in the, in the previous montage. 
and be done with it. So first, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with the power slider. You wanna take the power slider and then you're gonna wanna max it out. And then because this is the 50 series and the 5070 Ti has a ton of memory headroom, you're basically just gonna wanna slam the clock up to 2000, I swear it's okay. And then with the core, what I have seen, and shout out to Ancient Gameplay, I'll put a link to his video down below. You should always check out more than one video on how to overclock. Uh, he basically was able to get his to about plus 300 to 350. I started right at four because I had a feeling that this was a pretty well bin chip. So I started right at about 406. Now I went a little higher in some previous attempts and it crashed. So I just kept dialing it back down and 406 was stable for me. And then what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna save it. What I like to do is if you're starting fresh and you, you just don't wanna be as aggressive as me, maybe you wanna start off at like 300 and then you're gonna wanna hit the save button and then save it to, save it to number one. And then maybe you'll go to 325 and save it to number two, or you'll go right to 400 and save it to number three. Basically what you wanna do is you wanna run a test maybe like cyberpunk 2077 benchmark or another benchmark tool or even one of the free ones and if it's stable you up it again and then once you start getting crashes that's when you know it's not good now generally what i like to do when i'm trying to figure out my overclocks as well i'll i'll, I'll uh overclock set a setting make sure it works and i'll save that setting and then i'll restart the computer and then i'll increase the overclock again now one more thing I want to add that isn't necessarily common knowledge. As it gets hotter in the year or cooler in the year, you can increase your overclock settings. The cooler it gets and the hotter it gets, you have to kind of dial back your overclocks because temperature and heat do matter when it comes to overclocking. All right, guys, so that's it for this one. Big shout out to Asus for sending me over the 5070 Ti Prime so I can show you how well this thing overclocks. The fact that you can get one of these now for MSRP as of the time of this filming, which is the end of August 2025, and it overclocks that well, is pretty incredible. Now, obviously, your results will differ from mine, most likely, but it's pretty confident that you could expect around a 10% gain, give or take, from overclocking, which is pretty incredible. It gets you close to the 50-80 stock setting. So if this video helped, please make sure you like and subscribe and take a look at my other how-to videos and PC product part reviews while you're at it as well. See you on the next one, guys. Peace out.